Hi again. So in this lecture, we're going to see the CPU or the central processing unit schematic. So as you can see here, and as we have seen before, this is the name of the processor that we have here in this schematic. Okay, this is UNA socket. Okay, normally this is not a processor. This is the processor socket. Okay, so as you can see, always for every processor, its socket contain, as you can see here, many parts. This is controller. Okay, so here, as you see, this is the control signal. All these signals are control signal. Okay, so here, for example, this part is for the thermal signals all about the thermal signals as you see here we have thermal data and thermal clock okay here as you can see we have the address group okay this is address group one and here we have address group zero and here this is reserved okay so for the processor it contains many parts each part means a controller okay each part is des designed to do a specific operations. Okay, so in the motherboard, the reference or the name of the socket is CN16-1, means connector. So, dash 1 means this is the first part, because there is many parts for the processor. As we have seen in the block diagram, Processor exists in five pages. Okay, so this is the part one. So I will show you the processor in the motherboard. So this is the processor, and here, as you can see, we have CN16 means connector or socket 16. Okay, exactly as we have here. One means the first part of the processor. Okay. So, as you can see here, in the right, we have here VCCP. So, the VCCP plus VCCP is the voltage that we have seen before. This voltage is the voltage that power the processor, the GMCH, and the ICH, as you can see here. Okay? In this schematic. So, the plus VCCP equal usually 1.05 volt okay so here in this page we have we have plus vccp but normally the main voltage for the processor is plus vccp core that equal usually between 0.7 volts to 1.3 volt depending on on the type of the processor and of course, depending of the processor IDs. Let's see the second part of the processor. So as you can see here, we have CN16-2, means this is the second part of the processor, where we have other controllers. We have here data, okay? GRP2, GRP0, we have here one and three. Okay, so this is other controls for the processor. Okay, of course, here with the same reference, you know, this is the socket, this is the model of the socket M478A underscore 478P. Okay, of course, here we will find that plus VCCP about 1.05 volts is applied to the processor everywhere because the processor is a big chip okay also here we have plus vccp and so here as you can see this is the third part of the processor as you can see here so in this third part of the processor is designed just for the power so all these pins as you can see here connected to the power this is the main power plus vcc core this power is applied to all these pins okay as you see the same here also 
So this part is just designed just for the power. Here we have many ceramic capacitors. Of course, this is a filtering capacitor that is connected directly to the processor. Okay. So the purpose of these capacitors is to filter this voltage. Okay. Of course, here we have also chemical capacitors or polarized capacitors, as you can see here. As you see, this is the capacity of these capacitors. As you see, 330 microfarad, 2.5 volt. This also the same value, also this. All these chemical capacitors with the same value. So this is the side where you can find these capacitors in the motherboard. So here we have the north side secondary, here the south side secondary, okay? And here also, as you can see, for example, for this capacitors, as you can see here, for this capacitors, we have placed this inside socket. Of course, because the schematic is designed for repairing and also for the PCB design. Okay, that's why here we have placed this inside socket. So inside the socket, you will find this ceramic capaci capacitors. I will show you these capacitors in the motherboard, okay? So as you can see here, so this is the processor, this is the back side of the processor, and here as you see we have capacitors. All these are ceramic capacitors. And here we have chemical capacitors. So this capacitor is or are inside the processor, okay? So also this, also this, okay? So here, as you can see, this is CN16-4. So this is the fourth part of the processor. So for this part, all pins are connected to the ground, as you can see. So this is VSS. Always, when you find the VSS in every motherboard or every motherboard schematic means ground. Okay, so this is VSS. Why VSS means ground, means connected to the ground? Because VSS stands for the voltage of the source. And for every MOSFET, you will find that the V, the source, usually the source of MOSFETs, is connected to the ground okay that's why vs voltage of source connected to the ground and when you find vcc means voltage of collector vcc always connected to the power rail okay